All right, today I wanted to uh, show some of the comparisons between the stock Reptile Cloud 149 uh, Cine Wolf and a HD version of the frame, mainly designed to take the uh, DJI Air unit, but you can still buy it and make your own uh, analog system out of that, which is what I intend to do. Uh, one of the issues I had with the uh, with the main unit is the frame is such that when the <clears throat> with your FTV camera you'll see the edges of the of the ducts in the front, which kind of cuts down your field of view. And I'd like to get rid of that. The newer one has a longer frame, and so the camera can sit much more forward, so you should have no problem. That's my main motivator. Uh, these are available for as low as $35, and uh, I'll show you what comes in the box. All right, so these are the items that come in the box. You've got the four ducts in the back. You've got the main frame itself. You've got uh, some supports for the air unit that you can optionally put in into the center post. There's a bag of screws, a strap, stickers, and a little diagram that shows how everything goes together. The, um, the ducts are identical that's from the main unit, 3 inch for 3 inch setup. The frame itself, you can see, is taller than the stock unit, mainly so you can get the, the air electronics inside of there. It's also, uh, the arms are separate pieces, so two separate pieces than from compared to the normal uh, stock unit. So I don't think you can probably get the replacement arms if you break one, but you can tell it's kind of a taller setup. The hole mounting in the center here is set up for both the 20 by 20 by M2 screws as well as the 30 by 30 by M3 screws. You've got your standard uh, camera mount in the front, pretty much the identical setup that you had on the standard unit, 19 millimeter wide for the cameras. Um, some specifications. I'll read off my notes here. The uh, the ducks weigh about 9.9 .9 grams a piece. The frame itself with the uh, air unit brace is about 74 grams. Add all that up, you'll get to about 115, 116 grams for just the base frame with the ducks. As far as dimension wise, the dimensions on the on the basic frame for the the stock unit is 12 centimeters long by 3.2 wide by 3.6 tall. And for this new one here it's 16 centimeters long by 3.8 uh, wide by 3.9 tall. So you got a little bit better setup there for customizing your own. Uh, Cinewhoop using this configuration. It's probably one of the cheapest uh, Cinewhoop frame kits on the market and uh, my experience has been it's been pretty solid. Nothing wrong with the frame. Haven't had any problem with the frame. As I've mentioned in some of my other videos I have been beating the hell out of this one so I do have some cracks in the ABS plastic ducts which are pretty easy to, to glue back together. I think over time you're going to probably find out you're going to be probably making some repairs on just about any one of these Cinewhoops because we send them into places that are a little bit more uh, prone to accidents than, than a regular uh, quad. Alright, that's all I got. Any questions? Leave a comment. Thanks.